just had an awesome conversation about how do you start your business and when you're dealing with all these risks and uncertainties. And I wanted just to share it real fast so that others can benefit from it. Like we've just been in it for the last hour on this topic. So let's assume you want to start a business and it's, it involves books, training, like helping people be better, but you're worried about the conflicts of interest. Maybe that you, you want to see your job is to do this at some level, but now you want to also sell it on the, on, on the side because well, there's more people that need it and you're only able to serve so many people the way you're doing it. Okay. Well, her concerns and fears stem from many different places, but you know, is she allowed to the ethics Do they say I can, I can't sell to these people. Um, I can't do this kind of training. And I kept coming back on <clears throat> being specific, meaning that are you not allowed to work, you know, after hours and on the weekend? Are you not allowed to maybe sell to, let's call it parents, but you could sell to students? Are you not allowed to um, maybe offer something online and let people, you know, freedom of choice so they could download and buy if they want to? Are you not allowed to sell to educators? Can you go through the state? Can it be a foundation, right? Suddenly when you look at all the risks, we, we normally stop ourselves from doing the things we want to do because there, there are risks, but what are the risks? And are they based off of assumptions and beliefs or are they based off of facts that you know and precision in what is allowed and not allowed? And that's, that's the takeaway. If you want to do something and you're worried about the risks, write them down, right? When I was going to start one of my businesses, everybody told me not to. And so every time they said, no, you shouldn't, <laughs> here's the reason I took that reason. I wrote it down and then I r resolved a way to deal with it, right? If it came up, how do I deal with it? How do I prepare for it? So that way the risk isn't a risk, right? It's a planned event. And if you're going to start something, I need you to think about that. Think about the risks that could come up in your business, the walls, if you will. And then you need to then break through the walls because if you don't have the energy to break through those walls, your business is never going to grow. First off, you're the only one who can do it. I can't do it for you. Nobody else can do it for you. Um, we'd like to, but we can't, right? Number two, the only way you're going to break through them is if you have the energy and passion that you really want to do this business to serve these humans. And if that's the truth, then that will help you survive through all these walls. And as you're going through them, you want to gain assurances. You want to be correct and true and honest and ethical. So if you get someplace and let's say you work in an organization, you should work through the organization and get written approval from the right authority who can give it and then print that sucker out, put it on the wall. That way, anytime you have any confusion or concerns, you can always point to that. Um, number two, if you get to the very end, let's say you, you want to serve individuals, you want to give these great ideas and you want to get to the end, but you get there and you realize, wow, I really cannot do it as at all. I cannot sell this. Give it away for free, right? You still, you still have the mission. You still want to build something. You still want to serve people. Give it away for free. And someday in the future you could then when you're free of the shackles or whatever you have on you or the concerns the risk maybe you're just a parent and you don't have time right so you don't have time for the sales and the handling but you could make it and give it away or maybe you're bound because your employment contracts either way give it away for free build an audience build an impact serve people and then when you are free of maybe your kids go to high school or college and you're, they're good or you're free from the the job that you were binding, bound by, great. Message everybody and say, hey, I'm gonna continue this. I'd like you to you know, chip in financially, maybe five, 10 bucks, we've had a great time. We've done hundreds of calls and thousands of videos and we have all these great things happening and new customers, maybe they pay a little bit more. Either way, you can still have the U impact. You can still build a thing and there might be an economic version where you benefit today or maybe in the future, but either way, what you dream about, what you're wanting to do and you're chasing, that doesn't stop, right? Like nothing stops you and your dream, just the manifestation of it may not be precisely as you envisioned, um, but the impact is totally under your control. So I hope this helps. Very passionate conversation. Um, find those risks, go through those walls, find a way to serve.